and welcome to my Let's Talk series. And today I'm going to talk about concussion and scrum caps. Uh, so the reason this I'm talking about concussion and scrum caps is that a couple of days ago there was a game in Ireland, a schoolboys game. Um, and after nine minutes of play, um, but more than half an hour, the uh, game got called off. And the reason is that three players within that time, game time um, got concussion. Uh, one got concussion, um, he was seen to, and then there was a second incident with more uh, players, two other players getting concussed. Now that's obviously very sad, um, and we don't want to see concussions, and we don't want to see kids uh, getting hurt. Uh, but one of the things that's come out of this, and the reason I'm talking about this, is that a senator in Ireland has suggested that all people should have to wear headgear or scrum caps uh, to stop concussion. Now this as we've seen in the States, is really not um, something that works. Uh, headgear does not stop concussion, as we've seen in the NFL. They wear much more structurally, for much more larger helmets than um, scrum caps in rugby, uh, and they've had a massive concussion issue. What that led to was players actually leading with their heads and using their heads as a weapon, um, which, was a, which in retrospect was a crazy thing to do. And there's so this suggestion that the scrum cap, which is a much less much um, structural uh, piece of headgear will have any more effect is clearly not going to happen. There was one scrum cap that came out um, a while ago um, that suggested it did say that it would protect against concussion, but that never got signed off by Royal Rugby um, to be used. Uh, and medical experts came out at the time saying they were very dubious about, the fact, about its claims. Um, and so, so am I. So um, one of the reasons I'm talking about this, and I think uh, is that we need, if, if we've got people like senators here in the public eye who are suggesting these kind of things, clearly we need more education, we need more awareness around concussion and around what a scrum cap can, can and cannot do. Um, because this kind of stuff in the press uh, is just going to scare um, parents or scare people into wearing them and thinking they're protected when actually they're not, which means they can put themselves in more danger and get themselves hurt more. So if you know anyone um, that's playing rugby and thinking about getting a scrum cap, it's a cool, it's a fine thing to do. You see plenty of internationals wearing them, but do let them know. Uh, if they think they're trying to get um, protect themselves against concussion, that's not going to work. So, um, and it's something we don't just need the public to know about and our legislators, but also I mean, in, in Japan, um, there is actually legislation, or it's not, probably not legislation such as such, but rules age grade rugby, I believe, have to wear um, scrum caps. I know that um, Richard Freeman over there is very anti that. Um, who is one of the um, rugby report, even his top rugby report, reporter uh, in Japan. Um, so uh, it's not just, as I say, legislation or the public, it's also some rugby authorities as well uh, that have well meaning um, around scrum caps, but it's not actually going to help you. Um, and apologetically, I will be coming back and talking about concussion at other times as it crops up. It's going to be a theme I come back to um, play welfare is something that I feel strongly about. So thank you for listening, um, and uh, do if you want to listen to more of my stuff, you can check out my YouTube channel, or you can have a look here on Periscope um, at my other videos. And if you'd like to support me, please do become a patron of Driving Ball. Thank you, everybody.